problem, mate? What about people dying in there then? Huh? What about it? What were you saying to their families? Huh? You little dosser. Are you talking about death like that? Yeah. What did you say? What would you say? What did, what did you call what, me? What did you say about what death in there? What did you call there? me? What did you say about death what in there? What did you call me? What did you get so angry for? What did you call me? What did me? you say about death in there? I'm not angry. Yes, you are. I'm what not. did you say about death? You're a clown. I ain't a clown. I ain't a clown. I'm covering the story. I'm saying about death, and you're saying it's okay, yeah? Do you, do you, could you? Uh, excuse me, miss. Any views on the drugs getting brought on in there? Huh? Any views on the drugs getting brought on in there? Pardon? Sorry. Any views? Yeah. Not saying you. Of the drugs getting brought in here. Uh, that you've seen tennis balls, prison officers bringing that in. Not that I've seen. That. You've never I've seen, seen it. Seen. I've only been there a little bit. So what year? Yeah. How do you feel working here, then, Miss? It's a job, isn't it? How do you feel like? Is it your job to help people, or is it just a paycheck? I mean, it's my job to help people, but I feel like it's a sense of responsibility anyway. Do you really? Yeah. Your heart's in it. Yeah, that's not just like a job thing. That's just I like helping It's quite a, a job to get, though, isn't it? In a sense, your job's locking people up, you know. It's, it's quite a mad job to have, isn't it? I mean, yes. Is this what you wanted to do when you grew up, like? No, but it is a good way to start on the ladder of what you want to do, so I'm into rehabilitation. <coughs> really? And do you feel H&P Birmingham offers that? It tries. And I think in a lot of cases it succeeds, but... You, really, you truly believe that? <coughs> do you feel there's a gang problem in there? Uh, thank you for stopping, miss. Um, have a lovely day, and I appreciate you saying some positive things, you know. Yeah, fair play to that prison officer, guys. Listen, they all read from a script. Maybe I'm a bit softer on women. <coughs> but at least she gave me the time to actually stop and talk to me. Not that you can hear anything anyway, because it's so noisy here, guys. <coughs> as you can hear, guys, I'm ill as well. That's six police cars since I've been here. I'm severely paranoid. There's something going on down there. For me, the pl every police car's gone near enough down here, so there's got to be some serious accident or a big police station down there. Because that's really making me paranoid now. Let's just walk down here anyway, so it's pretty. Cool. Yeah, so at least she had the decency to uh, comment on it. Just look at the, the amount of prison officers you see in here now. Generally, they won't comment. And there is a major problem with drugs getting brought in, in the prison system, guys. And it ain't just people bringing it in. It's prison officers bringing in the drugs. And it can't, you can't, they can't hit sit here and say that none of that happens. Do you know what I mean? Smoking uniform. Telephone, yeah. They must park over here. Right, right, the visitor's car park. So here it's a bit backwards then. The layout of the prison's a bit backwards. Ah, that's gonna be the glory. We're gonna have a look over here, guys, at the little car park. Before I get run over. So this is, if you come and visit your family, you're gonna be up here and you're gonna get prisoners Prison officers here as well. Is ever a heat guy sweating a lot today? Private car park. TikTok. <laughs> you scared me. Um, TikToker. Depends what stuff. Uh, like filming them and that. Oh, you're a prison officer? Yeah. You bring drugs in? No, no. You scared of showing your face? Come on, basically. Oh, it's hard, brother. You know, because you're polite, yeah? I would give people the benefit of the doubt, but unfortunately, the uniform you got on, I can't. <laughs> Take care, man. <laughs> I won't get you, miss. I won't get you. I think you got a Bible in your face. I won't, I won't film a bit. Do you know what I mean? Yes, uh, this prison officer is, aren't you a TikToker? Any views on the drugs getting brought in in HP Birmingham? Any other drugs getting brought in there? What do you want me to say? That you don't believe in it and it's horrendous and it kills people? Oh, the drugs, the drugs inside, absolutely. Is it, be in there at all. is it bad? Yeah. What's it like, spice? I've, I've got no, I'm not really an expert on that, to be fair. No, like, say if you do a sales spin and 
I'm fairly new, so oh, really? I ain't really had any experience. You agree, though, that drugs are a problem, though? Drugs are a problem, yeah. And if you see them, you get rid of them yourself? If I see someone with drugs, absolutely, I'll get rid of them. How does it feel to be working in that sort of environment where there's so much illegal stuff? Do you know what I mean? You think I'm being in jail, there wouldn't be none of that, would you? I'm just doing my part, mate. Nah, nah, fair play. Thank you for your comment on that, officer. Right, we'll give him that. Ah, excuse me, mate. <laughs> Ignored me. God, mate, this is a busy one, guys. You've got one of them 5G towers here, yeah. Yeah, this one's quite a long one, guys. I didn't expect it to be dragging on this much. Right, let's have a look over here. I want to get to this part and then go from there. Right, so this is the visitor's car park. So is this where they go in for the visits then? Because there's no... Oh, man, this is a bit backwards here, yeah. So how does this work here? Is that like the visiting centre then? Let's have a look over this wall. Oh, well, yeah, it definitely is. Very, very busy here. So that is where the prison officers eat then, guys. Is that, is that where you guys eat in there? Where, where do they go to visit? Over there? George of the Jungle, mate. So that's the prison officer's county, which, guys, is called officer's mess. Uh, so prisoners will serve officers. So you actually get people that are in jail serving prison officers food for minimal wage, which annoys me greatly. Because I feel like the wages should be up, and I've mentioned this many, many times. But this bit round the corner here, which they're putting as private, private car park, no trespassing, CCTV in operation. There was a security guard, but he disappeared because of the heat. But then there's open entry. So this is the issue we have. Wow, look at that, guys. So this is all prison officers, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, you alright, miss? Hello, what are you up to? Just poking my head through, doing a little bit of filming. Um, I don't think oh, no. You have to put me in prison, miss. Hmm? You have to put me in prison then. Now nah, I'm just covering the story, and I just thought I'd cover this little bit here around the corner. I have been told you're not allowed to film. Yeah, you can't. Who told you? you can't, it's government property, you can't film around here, mate. That's all right. Who, who told you, miss? Who told you what? Sir? Oh, no, she said I wasn't allowed to film. Oh, he said it. One, no, not that guy. One of the guys over here who's been working in prisons for a lot longer than me. Oh, he's having a fag, isn't he? He's too busy. I'll give him a bit of space, obviously. Oh, I see a sign here, but there's open entry. That's the issue, like. Nah, that bitch. Even that on the bitch car, bitch out, of, out of range, that bitch. Mate. Pavement up here is fine. No, I don't know. I don't know. I do this a lot. I do a bit of filming. Yeah, any, yeah. any views on the drugs getting brought in here? Say that again. Any views on the drugs getting brought in and HMP Birmingham over there? On what, sorry? The drugs. Getting no. brought in. Well, this sounds like an interview. That's what an interview. Listen, listen, listen you need to. Stuff. What have you had filming on this side already? You need to delete as well. Oh, off. no, I never delete. No yeah. way. No way. I cannot delete. This is my content now. This will be for YouTube. Right. I've got quite a lot of followers. They want to see this stuff. He knows, he knows the drill himself. He said I'm on one of them TikTokers. Yeah, is he pointing this way? Oh, well, it was then, but generally over here. Don't worry, guys. If you don't want to be on. Uh, come on, miss. Don't touch the property, please. Don't film me then. Well, don't touch it then, please. Don't yeah? film me. Okay, don't touch it Turn then. your camera because I will smash it. Turn it well, that, that ain't exactly right, is it? You're recording videos, man. This is a lady. She shouldn't be saying she'll smash my property. No, there. but obviously... She can yeah, listen. I can say what I want. Yeah, but don't touch my stuff, please. Listen. How about this? If don't that's... film me, I will touch it. Miss, calm down. Calm down. Turn your camera away from me then. But miss, calm down. Turn your camera away from me Are you in prison? Then? I've been in there myself, yeah? I ain't as angry as you. You need to calm down. Care. If you're a man, I'd react differently. You shouldn't be doing no, it. No, no, listen, listen, listen. You don't speak to me like that. Number okay, one but what, why is she no, touching no, my property? Oh, right, 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 no, don't, don't, you don't touch you, it yourself. Yo, listen, don't put it on me, man. I'm well, don't touch my phone, brother. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm saying it to listen, her. Listen. I'd say it to you. Either way, listen, I'm speaking to you respectfully. Yeah, but then she's getting angry. You're justifying it, man. No, we're in a professional place, so obviously. Oh, you know, you're in a car park. No, no, but either way. That's how bad it is. Yeah, it's Brexit, right, yeah. Right. Well, 50,000 followers ain't a joke, is it? Because uh, the drugs and death's getting in there. Now you're making me angry, yeah? Her touching me phone like that ain't no good, brother. All right, but and you're... you telling me I speak to women, I'll talk to them how I want. 
What are you going to do about it? Cause don't chat to me like that, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. Kaz, what you hey, listen, that? I got uniform on, yeah. So yeah. obviously, don't chat to me like that, yeah. But if not, we'll see each other on another day, bro. What, we what really need you, cause I'll be really don't don't don't. No, be you was half us, respectful. No, I'm respecting and then you. you Just for her no, behavior. No, That's why I'm angry. I'm, I'm, I'm respecting you, so obviously, yeah, why please, say, why say, please, please, allow her behavior. Obviously, you know what it is, cause of the job you do, yeah. She didn't like everyone. She shouldn't be touching the phone. Okay, like And then you did it to to be arrogant. Look, you're putting it on my face, man. Yeah, but you're half alright, but you're getting angry. So after, brother. I am the same relax, on the tin. Relax, no, I can't get, relax. Look how many of you are around me, man. I give me anxiety. You're not supposed to be filming on here. Miss, and I came over this, and you're very polite. Nice and that's why I ain't even putting on you. You're very polite. But now I'm surrounded, and this is what you guys do. I'm not in prison. I'm only covering a covering story, and that's it. And that lady was very aggressive, miss. And you're justifying it by saying, ah, oh, she didn't want the camera in of it. You can't, you can't break someone's property. See, he, I don't listen to what he just said. What press did you just say? Press office. I, this yeah, is my own press office. Unfortunately, miss, it's got to the point now. There's so many people dying in custody. We need you, you can ignore her I want because people like you are the problem, mate. What about people dying in there then? Huh? What about it? What were you saying to their families? Huh? You little dosser. Are you talking about death like that? Yeah. What did you say? What would you say? What did, what did you call what, me? What, what did you say about what death in there? What did you call there? me? What did you say about death in there? What did you call me? What did you get so angry for? What did you call me? What did me? you say about death in there? I'm not angry. Yes, you are. Oh, what no. did you say about death? You're a clown. I ain't a clown. I ain't a clown. I'm covering the story. I'm saying about death, and you're saying it's okay, yeah? Do you, do you contribute to the deaths in there? People like you, man, are a joke. Call me a clown. Well, you're an old man as well. I ain't got a life, no. This is for me followers. Because people want to see people like you held accountable. Well, don't you do pro properly and ask permission to Why have you got to ask permission in a free country? Hey? This ain't, this, is, this ain't China, this is England, mate. Second. This ain't China, this is UK. You can do what you want. But don't laugh about deaths, mate. If a prison officer died or a prisoner, it's the same thing. It's a human being. Now do not laugh about people dying in custody and then get in my face and call me a clown. How old are you, anyway? You're an older gentleman, relax. Are you, are you a gym officer, anyway? Our works maintenance. So you're not even a prison officer. Officer, did you hear that behaviour there? Alright, fair enough. You're actually polite because you're letting it go. Miss, uh, excuse me, did you hear that behaviour there? Sorry. Alright. No, uh, miss, it's not an interview. I'm not a, I'm not a police officer. Guys, this is getting very, very wacky. I had 10 of them surrounding me. A gentleman laughing about death, getting in my face, calling me a clown. Just because I'm filming here, guys. HMP Birmingham is crazier in this car park, guys. And we're going to stay here for a little bit longer because for him to laugh about people dying in custody, guys, is an absolute disgrace. Because I witnessed it. Excuse me, officer. Right, so as I was saying, guys, to laugh about people dying in custody is a joke. It's an absolute joke. That lady's smashing my phone as well. It's an absolute disgrace, guys. I understand it's hot, yeah? But you can't be justifying people dying in custody. You're right. I can't believe that. I'm glad I got that on camera. Because that, he should not have the job. Because that's real life, guys. He, uh, people have passed away in custody. And him laughing like that, that's really annoyed me. Really annoyed me. You're right. There's actually some polite officers here and some very aggressive officers here. So the mix of the bad guys, and the problem is there, that lady obviously smacking my phone, and then that gentleman smacking my phone as well, and then saying meet him outside. Like this is the sort of aggressive behavior, guys, that I thought was stopping, because filming in public is a legal activity, and I thought now this things have calmed down. But for their reactions, it's an absolute disgrace. So I would recommend a lot of you to come down here now, and to just see the immature behavior and the disregard of people's lives um, that that officer did, which has really shocked me to the core, guys. And I was only here covering a story, but um, yeah, that in prison anyway, you generally get the old fashioned prison officers that knew the drill and were kind of a lot easier to deal with from my experience. But that older gentleman calling me a clown and laughing about people dying in custody, I think it's a real problem. So guys, HMP Birmingham, what can I say? Crazy video, absolute crazy. And 
I'd recommend a lot of you to come here and to see if that prison officer comes on camera again and talks like that again because that was really, really shocking to the core. And the thing is with it, guys, I wasn't even ready for it. When he's saying about uh, death and then, like, justifying it, it's not good. You're right. Guys, any views on deaths in custody? It's horrible, though, isn't it? Thank you very much for that. Nice, now, thank you for that comment. I appreciate that. Now, because um, one of your officers, I just mentioned that and he laughed about it. But I thank you for your comment on that. Because death is death. If one of you guys died or one of the prisoners, the same thing, isn't it? Have a good day, Charlie. All right, thank you very much. See, guys? That's polite. He didn't want to be on camera. He said he was very respectful. So we now have police pulled up to the prison here, guys. So I don't know if that's going to be about me. But yeah, I'm kind of going to leave the video here. But if police are here, then we can cover from there. Well, that's, that's a fucking crazy video, man. I didn't expect that, guys. That went from zero to a million for no reason, just from filming. And what they do as well, they surround you guys. So I stood strong. That one gentleman really, really annoyed me how he spoke about people dying in there because that ain't right. Just because you're in there, guys, doesn't mean you're forgotten. And, you know, we all make mistakes. Um, you know, and I can't, I can't sit here and justify crimes, obviously, but we got to believe in that rehabilitation culture, which they say and they offer, guys, and the real reality is it doesn't really happen. I believe rehabilitation comes from inside. So the police are here. I don't know if they're waiting for me because I'm pretty much done here anyway. I'm going to call it a day because it's boiling and I've got to get back home eventually. Also, as we are in Birmingham. Oh, you right. You guys ain't familiar. Sorry. You guys ain't familiar. No? No, no, no. What are you up to then? Working, are we? Looking at me. No. You've had complaints, haven't you? Like what? You're laughing. Why, why would we have a complaint? Like, can, can I tell you the honest truth? So I'm doing a bit of filming, legal activity. Yep. Um, West Midlands Police, yeah? Yep. And um, I got surrounded. I'm talking about a certain story of someone passing away in, in prison. Not necessarily this prison in general. Okay. And one of these prison officers are laughing. What is all that about? What's your views on people dying in police custody? Even like a police officer dying or uh, anyway, it's horrible, isn't it? It's a crazy world we're living in. What, what do you mean you were surrounded? Oh, I had 10 of them on me, smacking well, my phone. Was you filming first, was you? And then they come and surround each other. I know it doesn't matter, but yeah, I was is that what happened, yeah? But then you can say I'm an instigator, but it's not because it's illegal no, activity. Do you know what I mean? I think some of it is. is I weren't even talking. Their, no, no, no. I mean, they've got their personal vehicles down there. And I'm not saying you. Were yeah, no, I weren't uh, filming that bit. I weren't filming the car park. But I, I did see you there, so I think. I see you was keeping an eye on me then. I saw you because I drove past you and you got a selfie thing. So all I'm saying is, is they're going to be touchy about that sort of stuff. I'm touchy about some, some, people when they're dying. Might want to know who they are and where they live. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying don't record. I'm just saying. Oh, I never stop this. That's a consideration. Because that's public land, isn't it? All of this is public land. If it's restricted, it's and I jump a barrier, I gill it. You know what I mean? I would never jump over restricted land. I stick to the public boundary, that's always. Fine. So where are you guys from? What police station are you guys from then? Summerfield. Summerfield. How far is that? Just about there. So we're the local neighbourhood team, so that's why we're in here. Ah, uh, so Summerfield's a small one then, I'll take it. Yeah, Has it got a front counter? No. Nothing. Oh, it's a lot shut around here, isn't there? I think yeah. you've already got Lloyd House. Really. Yeah, I've already yeah. filmed that. Lloyd House, I mean, you got one. Uh, the majority that I've seen are shut, no front counter. Uh, so yeah. Any views on corruption in West Midlands Police? I wouldn't want to come on. Have you seen any yourself? I have seen them. Are you corrupt? <laughs> have a lovely day. Me too, mate. So can you guys admit that it's all good, me doing it, and you are clearly you, you here for me? all day, mate. You can show yourself. But all you guys right. are here for me, aren't you? No, no, we're, we're here anyway, mate. It's our local neighbourhood. You were... Please educate them. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is... See, them police officers are actually quite polite. What we're going to do is, guys, we're going to carry on and we're going to finish up up here because I'm definitely done here now. 
Right, so HMP Birmingham. It's been a long video, guys. Um, I apologize for how long it's been. I did not expect them reactions, but that officer to justify people dying in custody really upset me, and I was angry, and to get called a clown as well. So here at HMP Birmingham, guys, share, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Please do subscribe, guys. We're 75 subscribers away from 18,000. Can we get Gypsy to 18,000 this month, September 2023? Thank you very much.